The learning um, project for each student is a very long trajectory and different interventions have to happen at different times. And of course, Kenya is a, a complex country because like you said, not everybody has electricity. Not everybody has access to a smartphone or a mm -hmm. computer. And the government is trying very hard with its digital learning project to address these issues. And they're spending vast resources to make sure that all these electricity issues or um, hardware issues are addressed. But I think um, it's not happening at a rate fast enough. Okay. So again, the Osawa report indicated that um, a lot of children don't have access to an ICT lab at school. A lot of ICT teaching doesn't take place at schools. So ICT isn't always a solution, to be honest. Okay. Uh, we have to recognize that traditional learning is as important as you know, digital learning and that the bulk of teaching probably has to happen at the traditional level. And that means you know, relying on textbooks, on good teachers, uh, looking at um, having access to good reading material. And these things can maybe be done more in you know, more challenging areas, like you said, maybe in the Torkana, in the Samburu, in the uh, Wajir, yes. where the infrastructure doesn't exist yet. That's hopefully changing. And once they have access, mm -hmm. they should embark on digital learning. But for the areas that are connected right now, digital learning provides a great you know, supplement because you can learn things faster, more mm -hmm. efficiently. You can have access to new content, to mm -hmm. different 